Okay, I'm going to make a, a recipe that you can all make really cheap. I've got the ingredients here. You've got mushrooms, 50p. Meatballs, 39p. Oxtail soup, 39p. We're going to make beef 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 like a beef bouillon with a difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a we're going to get a metal bowl and we're going to um, put the oxtail soup with the meatballs and the mushrooms um, and I'm going to leave them for 24 hours and I've got the mash there so that's all going to amalgamate I've got two cans of oxtail soup and I've also got on hold Heinz beans pork sausages which was 50p from Asda and then we've got some cheese just to kind of spice the um, potato up a bit so we're going to have a beef bouillon there's one other secret ingredient obviously we've got the salt the scones for i don't know if you can see that 32p so let's go and have a look in, in the fridge at the secret ingredients see if motley can find it obviously butter is important we've got some cheese chive sauce there and then the secret ingredient is this one here. Can you see it? Uh, that's uh, sauerkraut. Now the thing about the sauerkraut is, don't be, a, you know, most people buy the jars. Don't be afraid to buy the bags from the Polish shop because you can, if you've got a clothes peg, put a clothes peg on it. And I tell you, I've had this for about two weeks now, and it's still as good as the day I bought it. So here's what here's what's going to be, because obviously I'm not going to eat it now. And I'm going to microwave it. This is microwave meal. Apart from the mushrooms, I might mushroom the, I might slice the mushrooms up and cook them on here. Because I've got no pickled onions. If I had pickled onions, then I'd put that into... Because that's what goes into a... A, bloody hell, just put that in there. a beef bouillon. So what you're going to have, in essence, is this one. This is the main stay oxtail soup. I don't know if you can see that. And there'll be two of them. And they're going to be mixed with this which is, oh, it's got tomato in it, but it shouldn't affect the flavour too much because uh, we want it to be a nice beefy broth. And we'll put them, we could put the mushrooms in whole and let them soak in the sauce. Or I could fry them up in, in, the, in the German fryer and, um, and then put it in to, to, to uh, and let the meatballs and that marinate themselves. I'll probably do that quicker. And I'll put it into a big bowl, and obviously that's going to be enough for about three portions. So I'll just take out the portion that I need when I cook it, and um, and then I'll keep the rest in the, the bowl, this bowl here. If you've got a dog bowl, see that metal dog bowl there? I'll put it in there and cover it with cling film or foil, and uh, I'll just put this back into the fridge here. I've got the... There. And then these ones here, look, I've got one that I made myself, a lot of, there's a lot of, um, oh god it looks like it's gone off, but um, I've got these ones here, look the RNA drops, rebob, and then I've got these new RNA drops, trying these ones from Matthew, just trying them because I do, I don't know, I mean, it's, it, I've been taking it morning and spraying that at night. And I've got an, another bottle there, another bottle there. But um, the most important thing is this recipe because it's cheap, you know, it's really cheap. And I'll leave it there, okay? Thanks for watching and uh, good luck with your cooking. Kids will love this one, okay? Especially the mushrooms and um, meatballs, okay?